So the church also gave high priority to the public reading of scripture and to preaching. Baptism, anointing with oil, marriage, healing, confession, and ordination to minister the gospel remain unchanged from the early Christian church. Orthodox Christians believe in a grace and a power from God given to them through each of these occasions. The church sees these events as holy moments in her life and calls them her mysteries. With an Orthodox service, you don't really have the sense of, oh, it was a good service today, it was, it was a bad service this week, because the focus of the service is on the liturgy. To discover that there was liturgy in the ancient church came as a horrendous shock. To find out that there was liturgy in that Bible that I thought I knew so well was frightening. And I began to ask, what else is there in there that I don't understand? I began in, to run into the word in the Bible, the word Eucharist. Oh, we don't usually translate it that way in the English Bible. We just translate it the giving of thanks or giving thanks. But the word was there. The very word that we took into the English language as Eucharist was right there in the Bible. As in years gone by, the basics of Christian doctrine, worship, and government are never up for negotiation. It simply has not left its course. Over 2,000 years later, it is still one. Because of the Orthodox Church records of marriages and baptisms, my family was able to trace our name through the Bible as descendants of Zacchaeus, the tax collector whom Jesus had dinner with. I am, uh, I feel like I'm living proof of its authenticity. In fact, we had in my immediate ancestry 17 generations of Orthodox bishops. We're here. If you want to come, come. Because we're always here, we've always been here, we always will be here. And that's assur assuring. Most people that I talk to who have become Orthodox, it's because it's always there. The tradition is always there. It's always the same. Being an Orthodox Christian, I celebrate being a member of the family of God. We know we are sinners. We have broken every contract God has offered us. But at the same time, I am most grateful for that loophole of salvation that God gave us through Christ. That's what it's all about. Christianity is for now and for tomorrow and for every day. Jesus' ministry lasted three years. Yet, with the new millennium, it is the world's largest ministry with some two billion followers. Out with the old, a tooth for a tooth, and in with a new and difficult way of life, turn the other cheek. The meek will be exalted. Love your enemy, and give the shivering man your cloak. The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve. It's a religion of love, a religion of mercy, a religion of compassion. Uh, it's not a judgmental religion. And any theology which does not touch people in their pain and suffering is a remote theology. It has nothing to do with people. After 2,000 years, we have not forgotten the short but dramatic life of Jesus of Nazareth and the powerful message he left behind. The challenge, the aspiration. He encourages man to do better, to be charitable, to forgive. He talks of faith, hope, and love. The Orthodox Church will continue in that challenge until his return. That challenge is to spread the good news about the historic church, the one that Christ himself established, being sure it is identical to the Church of the Apostles. America needs the Orthodox faith. I said to the Evangelical Orthodox in the past Sundays, I said, welcome home. The day I say to America, come home, America. Come home to the faith of Peter and Paul. The doors of Orthodoxy are open wide, and the invitation is extended to come and see. Examine her faith her worship, her history, her commitment to Christ, her love for God the Father, her communion with the Holy Spirit, her mystery, 
she has kept the faith delivered to the saints. In her walls is the fullness of the salvation which was realized when God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Lord, 